Hey guys, welcome to my new video and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over something that can help improve your smooths in Counter-Strike Source with no more effort required by you. Now I'm not sure why I haven't made this video a lot sooner because I've been using it for a very long time now and it just improves your smooths by a hell of a lot. And if we jump right into it, it's called Fake Aspect Ratio. Now I think this is something that a lot of newer editors aren't sure about, they don't really know about, no one's really told them. And of course if you're more experienced you would have been using it for a while now. So I'm just making this for the newer editors who might not know about it. Now this has been around for a long time, I'm not claiming it's new or I invented it or anything, so I've put a link to the original video I got it off, so you know, you can go his way, I can get him some viewers. But if his link is down for some reason, I'll also put an alternate link that I'll upload my version to, which is the one I downloaded off him anyway, so his link safe. Um, so once you've downloaded it, you will get this folder here and it'll just have three files, fake aspect ratio .dll, the actual program and then a readme. And if we look into this, you can see he says do not connect to back secured servers. Because if you do go online with this, you will get back banned. So don't say I didn't warn you and don't come back to the video if you get yourself banned. It's not my responsibility. So just if you don't know what you're doing, you're best off not using it. Okay, so here we are on my movie making account. And what we need to do is pretty much just double click on this program and and nothing will pop up, you'll just see it loads and once it's finished loading you'll write to open Counter-Strike and I'll just skip to when we're in the game just to save some time and I'll show you how you can tell if it's activated or not and the differences it makes. Okay so here we are in Counter-Strike Source and if you're after this movie making config I use with Skybox's high quality models I will put a link to the tutorial I made a couple of weeks ago where I go over everything like this. So if we open up console, you'll see all the movie making stuff comes up and then at the bottom, it'll have fake aspect ratio by takedown commands and you'll see the two commands that you need here, fake aspect ratio one and then fake aspect ratio scale. Now I'll just pretty much go into a LAN server so I can demonstrate the difference this makes to you. Okay, so here we are on Nuke and you can see this is the normal field of view in Counter-Strike. Now I'm not sure how smooth this is going to be through my screen recorder if not, I'll just put some screenshots or videos up for you to demonstrate the difference. So if we just stand here, we can see this is the normal field of view. Now if we open console and type fake aspect ratio and change it to 1, you can see it pretty much zooms in a little bit and it changes the field of view. And this is just an easy way to alter the angle of your smooths and you know it changes what the background looks like and it gives a lot better effect. Now if we type in fake aspect ratio scale, the lower the scale, the more zoomed in it is, and the higher, the more zoomed out it will be. So by default, it's set to 90. If we change that to 45, you can see it zooms in quite a bit more. And this compresses the background, so it works similar to like a camera lens. The longer you zoom in, the more compressed the background will look. So if we go down to something like 20, you can see the background all looks very close together. Now you can also change it to a higher value than 90. So if we say go to 130, you can see everything looks a whole lot wider. And this can give you some cool effects and smooths as well. So that's pretty much what the difference is. And it pretty much just changes how zoomed in and out the camera is, changes your field of view, and it can really give you some cool effects when doing smooths. So I hope this helped, give it a download. And if you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up leave any tutorial suggestions down below and of course check out my other tutorials and everything like that so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video